Welcome to this week's episode of Go Fish BC on Shaw TV. Today I've got the great fortune to come down to the Chilliwack area, fish with my good fishing friend Nick Bassick and members of the Fraser Valley Salmon Society. We're bar fishing for Chinook salmon today and we already got one in the net. Nick's going to explain how we're fishing for these guys. It's something I've never done before so I'm really excited to do this. So we look forward to catching another big fish today so stay tuned. Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, Go Fish BC on Shaw TV with your host Brian Chan from the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC is brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbie. Why do you like bar fishing so much? Because I know you keep bugging me to come down here and do it, but what, what, what attracts you to it? Well, when you're bar fishing generally, it's a real social activity. Like it's, it's not like you're uh, all crowding together in, in one little piece of water to fish somewhere and drift fish. You just, you, you're, you, the way you bar fish is you throw it out, let it sit and let the fish come to you. It's real social because you can come with a bunch of friends or family and group, put your tents up, bring the barbecue. Yeah. Well, someone's cooking breakfast. Yeah, I see that now. Chris is cooking breakfast this morning already. The main fishery with bar fishing on the Fraser River is Chinook fishing. Yeah. Okay, it's for the big Chinook. Yeah. But uh, you can catch, when coho are open, you can catch coho. You'll catch the spring jacks, the smaller ones. Yeah. Uh, you'll catch pinks. You can catch chum salmon. So, Mike, you caught a pink. Caught a pink. Yeah, so let's just show the viewers what they look like. So, this is a pinky, obviously a pinky here in the Fraser. And there's a big male. And it's still really good shape still. And uh, of course, they're, they're still quite edible at this, at this stage. But, uh, and I hear there's like, how many million coming up this year? It's, it's a huge run this year. So we'll just, this is incidental. It's not what we're targeting. We're targeting Chinooks, but it's a beautiful thing. And we'll just get them back in the water. No. Like so. And let them carry on up river. So you never know where you're gonna hook when you're on the bar. Generally the tackle, it's fairly husky tackle. People use braided line or they use mono. Generally a mono they use about 25 to 30 pound test. With braided we use generally 65 or 80 because it's very thin. It's only 15 to 20 pound mono diameter. Right. And you can throw with a smaller weight into heavy water and hold quite easily. Terminal gear is generally we use a bar rig which is like this here. It's a wire set up like that with a standoff on it. Yep. You tie your main line to the top end of it. You put a leader with a weight on the bottom end. So if you hook a really big fish, the weight usually breaks off. Okay. So you're not fighting the yeah. weight too. Right. Okay. Right. And then usually a leader of three feet to 30 feet of uh, 40 to 60 pound test. And that is so when you're casting these spingles like this, they don't tangle. Okay. So you have a very stiff leader. That's three to four feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Leader length. Yeah. And then si usually this size of spingle, number two, to, or, or to a slightly bigger one, which yeah. is called a zero, which is this big. Yeah. And that's when the water conditions usually are a little dirtier, you use those. So these are just spinning in the current, yes. and the flashing is attracting yeah. the yeah. fish. Yeah, they sit, the weight sits on the bottom, and uh, like this, it sits on the bottom, the leader stretches out, and because these these spin glows are, are buoyant, they yeah. hang in the current, and then they, they just spin, spin like this, yeah. and they're attracted to the fish. Yeah. The fish come along, they see it, they yeah. take a grab at it, and they get hooked and they don't yeah. get hooked, just like that's what fishing is. And the hook's single barbless. Single barbless, yep. 4 0, 5 0, 6 0 hook. Great. <laughs> what can I do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got something. Woo! There he is. So, what have we got here, Nick? Uh, this is a Jack Chinook. Oh, geez, it's really silvery. Yeah. So we can we can take those. We can take this fish, yeah. And they'd be superb eating. I yeah. Yeah. The rules right now are that you're allowed one adult Chinook a day and three under 62 centimeters Which or under two feet. Yeah. So this is a Jack and you can keep three of these. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful great fish. shape. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Nice and silver. And you can tell he's a jackson. He's got all the spots. Spots top of the tail. Black gums inside, black mouth. And you can smell them. And you can smell them. Okay. You always know when you got yeah. a spring by the smell. That's great. <laughs> well, Nick, I really appreciate you setting up this uh, fishing day on the bar here in Chilliwack. It's been a great learning experience for me, and I'm sure the viewers are going to have a great time watching it. And uh, 
we look forward to seeing you on another episode of Go Fish BC on Shaw TV. Nice to have you. <laughs> Perfect. Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, Go Fish BC on Shaw TV with your host Brian Chan from the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC is brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbie.